When catastrophic things happen, two things happen to people. They either run from God or they run towards him. Growing up, uh, I wanted to do art. I'm a very creative person, but my parents always kind of believed that you have to be a doctor or a lawyer, that sort of thing. And I did uh, psychology in university, but always kind of felt like something was missing because I have this creative side, yet I'm not allowed to express it. I always felt like it's too late. I went on a funny spiritual journey where I had questions about the Bible, questions about the world, or why do bad things happen to good people? Fast forward to later on in my life, I got married to my best friend. We were friends for a long time, but what really got me interested in her was when I saw that she had that spiritual side to her. And so she helped bring me a lot closer to God. We we're looking at buying a house. I just bought a brand new car. We had what someone sees a storybook life. I'd signed up to go compete in a Spartan race. I left home thinking everything was perfect. Kiss my wife goodbye, went off. And when I came back from the race, she called me that night and pretty much told me that she doesn't love me anymore and that she wants to end our relationship. I felt like I'd been robbed. I'd been doing the right thing. I felt like I went to church, I prayed. You know, I, I, I tried to be a good person. My greatest fear in life was losing my wife. At the end of the day, you could just lose everything, literally everything, overnight. I was broken for a long time. I remember I got a call from a good friend of mine, uh, Naomi. She told me about C3. I wasn't trying to have it with church at this point in time. I was kind of like, I'm going to do this on my own. I don't know what it was that made me decide to just go one day, but one Sunday I was like, I'll check it out. It was just so refreshing to see regular people feeling the Holy Spirit. And then I looked up and I saw this, this pastor on stage in skinny jeans and I was like, what? Because I, I always felt that that was me. I'm not the suit and tie type church goer, you know? I feel like I should praise in whatever it is I'm wearing. The church and my relationship with God grew. But I think the most profound thing happened for me in January when we decided to do the fast. Always heard about fasting and I thought it was just, it didn't make any sense. I just felt like God saying to me, you don't have to understand it. I'd always prayed to have more faith and not question everything because my mind is just programmed that way to always wonder why. And I think that was the biggest step of faith for me where God was just like, test me. I've learned to trust a whole lot more. I'm not mad at my ex-wife anymore. Actually, I wish her well. And what I have with God makes me feel like I don't need anything else. To say I'm completely over it now, I'd say I've come a long way. In little ways, he's revealing to me why this had to happen. I'd probably never be as happy as I am now. I'd never actually be in art school now because I would have kept going on in a life that I believed was what I wanted. Things are gonna go wrong, but you're not alone. I think if you're strongly grounded in your faith, that there's no situation you can't overcome.